Hey guys, so today I'm going to share with you what I made for lunch, which is my super easy pesto zucchini pasta. The first thing you're going to need is a spiralizer. I bought mine off of Amazon for like 30 bucks. It's amazing, you can spiralize a lot of vegetables, and zucchini is one of my favorite to make it into pasta. I just have the um, pasta spiralizer on there. I'm gonna need my Ninja or a food processor, anything of that nature, and then the small cup with the grinder on it and then a large mixing bowl. Also, you're going to need something to hold this all in, so I'm just using a mason jar because I feel like it really seals it in. A knife and a cutting board. So let's go ahead and start by cutting up our zucchini, getting it ready for the spiralizer. So the first thing, I'm just gonna take the knife and cut off the tip of it as well as the end of it, just to make sure that it really can be spiralized and you don't have any other stuff in there, only the edible parts. So I'm going to do that to two zucchinis. You can use as many zucchinis as you want, but I feel like two is perfect for me at lunchtime. But if you're making a dinner meal, I suggest four to five, so you get as much nutrients as you need to feel full. Now we're going to go ahead and start, after we've washed them, put it into the spiralizer. So it's super easy. You just put the one end into the top of it, and then the back end you just push into the little pokies and you're good to go. Then you just start by twisting the handle um, counterclockwise and you are going to start seeing zucchini noodles. It's so simple, it's quicker than even watching pasta boil, I swear. So once you have it starting to spiralize, I like to cut my noodles every so often so I don't have super long noodles, but it's all preference. Um, so I just go ahead and pull them out and yeah, place them into my bowl. So once that's done, I just keep repeating, basically, just spiralizing each zucchini and cutting them every so often so I don't have super long noodles. So we're gonna go ahead and do that all the way until the end of the zucchini, and then Bella, this is Bella's favorite part, she loves eating this. You can always eat it, I don't recommend wasting it because it is a lot. So go ahead and just feed it to your dog if she likes it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and repeat with zucchini number two my noodles, throw them all into the bowl, and that's what you're left with. Just after two zucchinis, it's quite a bit of pasta. Now it's time to make the pesto sauce. This is my super easy pesto sauce. Um, really, really healthy and simple. I don't even use pine nuts. You can if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and measure one fourth cup of Parmesan cheese into my magic, or my ninja bullet. And then, smooth that all out, dump it in. And then we're going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic, which is like a clove of garlic if you're not using it like this. Go ahead and add that right into the bullet. And then onto the basil. I'm using fresh basil. I'm just going to literally take off the leaves of every single, all the leaves in that packet. Yeah, and it's about one cup. Um, but just don't get any stems in it or they'll taste bitter. So just go ahead and put all that into the food processor, add some salt and pepper for tasting, totally optional. And then it's time for olive oil. Now this is you're going to have to play with, but I started with about three tablespoons, I'd say. And then I go ahead and add more once I've, you know, kind of blended it and mixed it and seen what the consistency I want. I'm going to go ahead and put on my little top, seal it on nice and tight because it is not fun to get that to me. So make sure it's nice and tight, pop it right onto your Ninja or food processor, whatever you're using, and start pulverizing. So your sauce should look like this towards the end after you've added a little more olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it right onto my zucchini pasta noodles. And yep, you can use as much or as little as you want, but I love this stuff. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and mix to incorporate. You can add more oil, more cheese, whatever you want. I love topping this with some cherry tomatoes, so I'm just going to go ahead and chop up, or chop in half to, um, to split the tomato, and I'm just going to add a handful of those, and then mix to incorporate, and then that's it, you guys. It's super easy. I go ahead and just add this into a mason jar, and then I'm ready to go out the door. So this is what I ate for lunch today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any other recipes that you like using with zucchini pasta, and let me know if you try it out. And yeah, seal it up and you're good to go. I love you guys. Have a great lunch. Bye.